Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I just wanted to make a video just to dedicate for my Leopard Gecko's birthday is coming up, and how I got my Leopard Gecko Kaiser to overcome metabolic bone disease. So these are pictures of the day when I first got him, and then I'm going to show you some Sorry guys, but I failed to say what metabolic bone disease actually was in this video, and basically it can happen with any reptile. I'm going to show you different pictures right here. It is just lack of calcium and vitamins. It literally, it's the biggest thing to prevent, and it's very fatal and almost irreversible when your reptile does get it. And it weakens the bones and the jaw, that's why often they don't really eat when they have metabolic bone disease, and that's why Kaiser starved. Also, if you do come to the conclusion that your reptile does have MBD, make sure to instantly take them to a vet or do what I did. Just try the best you can. Pictures of Isla periodically. She didn't have metabolic bone disease. She's been healthy since the day I got her because I didn't mess up anything. Um, this was Kaiser's first shed, and that's why people, th people and I just assumed he was really healthy because he was shedding, he was eating, he was fine. But little did I know <laughs> that I didn't think babies needed the calcium. That's just a picture of him drinking. And so right here is a picture of me feeding him, but there's no calcium dust or vitamins or anything on the food. So that is really what caused him to get metabolic bone disease, and it's really easy to prevent. This is just Isla on Kaiser's hide. And um, that was Kaiser's second shed, I believe. So he was shedding pretty good. And that was Isla on my cousin's shoulder when we were bringing her to Florida because she hated being in that little box. And these are videos of both my leopard geckos drinking just because nobody ever sees what, you know, no one ever sees leopard geckos drinking. So I actually got it on video though. So I just thought it was cool to record that. <laughs> Then this is Kaiser, like I said, probably a week after having him. As you can tell, his colors are really vibrant. He was literally a day old when I got him, so. And this was when I realized he had metabolic bone disease, so this is basically how I cured him. I had to just try to get the vitamins and calcium in him somehow, so this is what I did every single day for a couple of months. I was really desperate. I thought he wasn't even going to be alive when I moved to Florida, to be honest. So this is what I do every single day. He was walking really funny, his joints weren't working. And I had to do this every day. I had to give him like shedding baths so that he could shed properly. And then this is when he started mm -hmm. eating again. But as you can see, his aim is like really terrible for some reason. I think the metabolic bone disease messed up with his eyes or something, his eyesight. But as you can tell from these videos, he had a really hard time with it. But I did make sure he got the calcium in him, and that's when he started having interest in food again. So he got really skinny, was shedding really bad during metabolic bone disease, and he lost a lot of his claws. He didn't lose toes, but he lost his claws part. So it's kind of funny now because he can't climb on anything, but he thinks he can, so he just kind of slides around everywhere. I just wanted to insert this because this is a a knoll that I saved. I basically just nursed her back to health. She only had one leg, and so I'm gonna insert the video. Th these are the three lizards I caught. I did let them go the next day, but yeah, this was me letting her go. She didn't really want to leave at first. I kind of had to force her, but I nursed her back to health because she was really skinny. I fed her and everything, so yeah. And I actually just recently, if you guys see my old video, I switched Kaiser and Isla's tank. So Isla is now back in her old original tank, and I put Kaiser in the newest tank that I just bought. And I did this for a reason. So that was Kaiser eating, just to show you guys that he's perfectly fine now. I've cured him from metabolic bone disease. He's not skinny anymore. But this is just him exploring his new tank. But I put Isla back in her old tank because she likes to climb. And that tank is a lot taller than this one. And Kaiser can't even climb and he mostly roams along the ground like a normal leopard gecko. So I put him in the newer tank because it's longer wise. But I think Isla does miss her old tank because I remember in the middle of the night, I would just hear her like clawing up the side. Like the background is like styrofoam, so she could climb up on that with her claws. And she can't do it in this tank, so that kind of sucks. But I just felt like Kaiser would like this more. 
so yeah i'm gonna insert videos of both of them just kind of exploring their new tanks it's really cute But yeah, guys, that was basically how I cured Kaiser's metabolic bone disease. I tried my best. I didn't force feed him at all. I tried to feed him. I would never put a syringe down his throat or anything. He just started eating again on his own. Um, I remember one day I woke up and the mealworms weren't in the dish. And I'm like, okay, they must have crawled out or something. Because they did that um, a few times. But I started realizing I would walk out and I would see him eating again. I just remember how happy I was. Because he hadn't eaten in months, you guys. He got really, really skinny. Like I said, was shedding terribly, but he's perfectly healthy now. The only, you know, disadvantage he has is he doesn't have claws, so he can't really grasp onto everything, like I was saying earlier. But yeah, that's basically all I did, and he's perfectly fine now, so I'm really happy about that. But like I said, the stage he was at, I didn't even think he would survive. I didn't think he would be here to this day. But I literally tried the best I could to... Because I didn't have vets or anything. There was no vet, like reptile vets in Ohio, especially where I lived. So I had to do this all on my own. And that's, you know... But, I mean, there's there were so many people commenting on my old leopard gecko video. Like, that I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about leopard geckos. How are you going to tell me that when I literally cured... A leopard gecko from metabolic bone mm -hmm. disease without taking him to a vet whatsoever. My leopard geckos have never been to the vet. This is Isla exploring her new tank. She just kind of like was walking around. She's so cute. But yeah, in this video you can really see how pretty her eyes are because their pupil their pupils like dilate like ours do depending on the light they're in and it, so it's just really cool. So I'm assuming by the size my leopard geckos were the day I got them that Kaiser's turning a year old in December and Isla's turning two years old in October. So I really wanted to get them like a bunch of wax worms for their birthdays or something. But the pet store near me literally only sells mealworms and crickets. They have literally no selection whatsoever for geckos. And keep in mind, their prices are so high. Crested geckos here are literally like $200 and leopard geckos are literally like $60 to $100. And in Ohio, they were only like... 20 or 30 bucks i got um isla and kaiser for only 10 bucks but isla's actually worth 70 dollars for the kind of morph she is and i'm pretty sure kaiser's a max snow but yeah they're definitely worth more but you know pet stores literally majority of them like petco don't know anything about the animals they're selling so i had to do this all on my own and just assume you know what morph they were and the gender and everything they literally won't tell you anything they they don't know anything they just know that they eat mealworms and whatever i could do a long rant video about pet stores but i really don't have time for that right now but but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and like for more weird content like this and i'll see you guys later so say